Carl, uh, another quick turnaround as it has been well, quite a lot in, in recent weeks, really with a, another game tomorrow night. I mean, first things first, how's the, the sort of morning been today with the boys off the, the back of a, a bit of a, a battle on Saturday? Yeah, lots of detail into them again. Like you say, quick turnaround of games, but when you're in a good moment like we are, you want the games coming thick and fast to carry on the momentum. That's obviously huge. Um, big buzzword this week is about momentum and trying to gain as many points in a short period of time as possible. So we've had a, we've had a good day, a lot of detail um, put into them in a, in a short space of time, but as they've shown, they, they take it on really well. And at the moment, they're executing their game plans um, and adapting to the different challenges. So we're really excited and looking forward to the game. And like I say, um, trying to gain as many points in a short period and see us comfortably secure ourselves within them playoffs. You mentioned the, the detail side of things there. I mean, obviously off the back of a, a couple of wins on the spin, does that make it any easier to kind of get that side of things into the boys when they're coming off the back of a, a bit of good form and, and things are kind of working, what you're telling them at the moment? Yeah, we'd like them to be receptive as often as possible, but obviously the way the last few games have gone in terms of dealing with the threat of the opposition and making them aware of the strengths they have um, they've been going into games prepared and you can see that in their position and particularly out of possession I think we were superb against South End out of possession and defending our box was outstanding showing a different side of our game which we've had to show on a few occasions um, but you, you aren't tested as much against the sides like uh, Barnet and South End uh, in terms of physicality and balls into your box like any other teams in this league. So to deal with two opponents like that in a short space of time, getting the boys you know, prepared for the threat, uh, they've been great in, in executing what we've sort of tried to prepare them for. Yeah, and, and with I mean, a, a home game tomorrow night, of course, Eastleigh making the, the long trip up to, to Gateshead, but in terms of Eastleigh specifically, I mean, obviously they've got the, the, the league's top scorer at the moment in, in Paul McCallum, and it's been a while since you, you played them at their place. Obviously, one of the, the sort of standout results of the season, I imagine that could still be a little bit fresh in their mind, even though it was still quite a while ago. I think any 6-0 defeat is going to be fresh in your mind, um, particularly if it's within the same season. So we're expecting them to be motivated and to put that right. Uh, no game, no two games are the same, so we're expecting a really difficult fixture. Uh, we respect all of our opponents and obviously with, with what we did down at their place, we have to be on, on higher alert and, uh, and be aware that they'll come here with a with a bit between the teeth and really want to avenge that, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, it would only be natural for them to be disappointed with what happened there and they will look at this fixture to try and correct some of them them errors that they, they obviously committed on the day. But for us, regardless of the opponent, regardless of circumstances, we we just want to continue with our concepts and the way we play. Um, we can, we've can we still got a lot of room for improvement and this is another opportunity, regardless of the, the test in front of us, to, to go and get better um, at every opportunity, every game that comes around. So, like I say, regardless of whether it's Eastley or, or any opposition, we're going to focus and and concentrate on the game in, in the same manner as we would against any other opponent. And in terms of the injury front, obviously Ed Francis came back on, on Saturday the first time he's been back in about a month or so. Regan's suspension, I think, ends after tomorrow's game. But I know Rob mentioned that he's kind of been struggling with a, a little bit of a, a minor injury problem at the minute. So how's everything looking on that front? Injury-wise, it's looking great, um, particularly considering where we were a few weeks ago. Um, Regan, this will be the last game he's mentioned, but we're just monitoring him. He may have an issue that might prolong his absence, which is a shame, but that could be something that could clear up quite quickly. Um, but with Ed back in, we know how important he is for us. Ed improves any team in this league when he steps into the start at 11. So he's been really important um, in his performance against South End, bringing that calmness and that composure and being able to secure the ball for us is, is vital. Um, in terms of injury worries, we haven't got any fresh ones. So that obviously breeds a lot of confidence into the team. Um, you know, when they, when they know they've got squad depth and good players in every position, um, that's crucial for the, for the morale and uh, we're going into the game full of confidence off the back of two great wins. And like I said earlier, it's about carrying on that momentum now.